Good morning, everyone. It's August 27th. It's August 27th. My hair looks awful. But it's August 27th. It's August 27th. You know, I'm not in my house. Not even close. I'm at a house that I was cleaning, that I've been cleaning for years now, like three, four years. And it's like a little bit extra income. I come here like three times a year, clean it. But during August with a store, it's impossible to finish it in one day or two. But I'm doing it in two days. I started cleaning it last week. Came here a couple of hours. And today I came back just to vacuum and to mop. And the door's closing. But anyways, that's an extra 30. Like 30 today and 30 last week. It's an extra income. There are days like yesterday when I didn't make 30 during lunch hours. But that's not every day now. So better save and have 30 then waiting for, for the 30 to come to you. And no, it's because it's extra. I'm not going to spend it on stupidities. I'm putting it away in savings. And my daughter's books are coming. Her English class books. So that's another 100 by Friday. See, every day, if you're saving and you're dreaming of something, it's like, yes, it's happening. Like this channel, I was never expecting it to reach 400 subscribers. And it has. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't wait till I reach 1,000 subscribers, 1,001 subscribers, and 4,000 hours of watch time in one year. And you're asking why? Because then I'll be monetized. And that would be an amazing, amazing help. And if you're asking why that would be amazing, because that would be an extra 50 to $100 income a month, which is really needed. Because this year, I'm trying to pay down debt as fast as possible. And the bank called me and they're like, uh, you didn't pay your insurance for the loan, the mortgage. I'm like, what insurance? That's in the winter. And they're like, no, no, we changed it to summer. So I'm off to Estea. That's like an hour or something drive to pay the insurance tomorrow. And I'm taking you guys with me. But right now I have to finish vacuuming and mopping. So when these people come on Friday, they can find the house clean. And during next week, they can come pay me. Bye for now.
Ugh, I'm tired. I need more sleep. And I'm always forgetting to clean the oven. I'm late. Why am I always late? I'm out. I'm out. I finished those. Yes, I'm getting paid next week when they come. They're coming on Friday. I took out too, too much responsibilities and I just woke up. I had like an hour, half an hour sleep. But as you can see, I was supposed to light the oven at four o'clock and it's five something. When I finished, I went over to my friend's store, had a bottle of ice cream. She didn't even charge me for that. And she goes to me, uh, food for me today? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm making Minnesota snow with meat sauce for you. It'll be ready soon. I look at the clock at her store, it's 2 o'clock. So I'm running like an idiot. Come here, fix it, and bring it back to her. By the time I fixed it, I was washing dishes in the front, trying to wash a few dishes in the back from last night. That's not nothing. That was like three times the things you saw. Ugh. Deliver to her, get paid six. I didn't charge you six and a half because she treated me to ice cream, which I want to pay too. Bought salt, bought napkins. I even have them like right there. By the time I came back, they were eating upstairs. I just went up and nibbled some meat my mom sent me. And I wanted to take a shower, but I was too tired. So I just sat in bed, lie down, decided to watch a YouTube video, my favorite pastime, and I fell asleep. I know I should not torture my body that much to do the house, but that was an extra 60. 30 today and 30 last week. That's how I put it in my brain. I don't put them when I get 60. It's like, okay, you go do the house and we'll see how many days it's going to take you. So it was one day last week and one day this week divided by 60. That makes 30, right? Just an extra 30. And tomorrow I have to go to the banks. They called me. Yeah. They told me that my insurance for my mortgage is due. Past due. And I didn't have time to go. So I'm going tomorrow to get take care of all of that. Put, and figure out how much more we owe. And you're going to hear about it tomorrow. Plus, I might even have a chance to go to the other bank and ask. That is, if I can wake up. <laughs> but what have I spent today till now? Well, the soft drinks and the beers. Where is the beers? The rest I put in the refrigerator to freeze. Doesn't count, right? Napkins will for the store. Don't count. Salt is for the store. Doesn't count. But the beers and the sodas I haven't paid yet is coming tonight. I thought I saw somebody, but anyways, like I was saying, I just bought a little bit of salt, like a half a kilo bag of salt, which is really cheap here, and two packs of napkins that I'm going to need tonight, maybe even tomorrow. I don't know how fast it's going to go. So I only paid $150. The ice cream was free. I got paid for bringing her lunch. And the beers, which I think... I owe him around 250, 270, something like that. But as you can see, it's all for the store. Tomorrow I'm buying shampoo for the house. It's the end of the month. August is over, the end of the month. And it's a good chance because I'll be at Eden. Why pay more for something else when you can get it at Eden? So yeah, I've actually been really, really, really strict this August. Like I said, the only bad habit left was ice cream. I will say it's a bad habit. A $2 scoop of ice cream, like they charge you $2 for one scoop here. 
it's not expensive because go get a family size or any kind of size just chuck with ice cream i have to drive like an hour or so to the closest store like neither and because i was running during lunch hours heat waves bags at the same time it's gonna melt and it's food to me it's an indulgence and i've been doing it only once every 10 days so three scoops of ice cream a month i deserve another one i think i'll go back right now then yeah i'm working just tracking everything you spend everything you spend so running down what i've spent for the store what i'm making the stories tonight what i'm doing the 30 and 30 60 well it's gonna be written down tonight it's gonna be written when i get it in my hands so as you can see yeah i am being really strict on myself this year but i'm getting myself slowly out of debt